Do you love Snow White as much as I do? Stay tuned while we take a look at these shoes by a regular choice. We'll have a quick unboxing and then we'll really get into the details of the shoes. I did want to start with showing you what the packaging looked like. So if you are ordering from the regular choice website overseas, you do know what to expect as far as shipping is concerned. A regular choice does package their shoe boxes in an exterior box, and I would say they are packaged pretty well. The only damage I have had is I did have one pair of shoes that was a little bit crunched in on the box on one side. But other than that, I would say they do a pretty good job of shipping. It does come a long way uh, if you're in the States like me. Uh, the box itself is princess themed. It is not just Snow White themed. It is all of the princesses in the uh, princess collection. I'll give you a close up of that later. And uh, the tissue paper as well. Um, I will say this is my second pair from the princess collection. I'll do a review of the Aurora Sleeping Beauty shoes I have coming up soon. They will be launching the last two princesses in the collection this December, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure we'll get some teasers from a regular choice soon showing uh, Belle and um, the Little Mermaid will be the next coming up. So after this, I'll give you a close-up of the shoes. All right, so these are the boxes that the shoes came in. This particular shoe is called an Apple a Day. And the boxes, as I said, do have something from all of the princesses in the collection. As you can see, um, here's Lumiere from Belle. Uh, that should be releasing soon. If you have never purchased a pair of shoes during launch day at a regular choice, definitely subscribe because I will be doing a video of the Belle and Ariel launch where I wait in queue and for my turn to get in to see all of the new shoes and possibly purchase a pair of shoes uh, during launch day. This sh These shoes from the Snow White uh, collection I did purchase during launch day. Launch day can be very exciting and very frustrating as well. <laughs> I know during this launch I accidentally hit the back button and then was lost my place in queue and had to wait in line again and then I was worried that the particular shoes that I wanted might have been out of stock because sometimes they sell out within a matter of minutes. So. Launch can be very exciting. If you've never seen that, if you've never participated in that, uh, definitely subscribe so that you be able to see that video when it comes out. But as all of regular choice shoes are, this particular box is a shopping bag as well, which is kind of cool. Um, I do love the boxes. I will be reusing this box at a later time. So I utilize all the boxes. I do not throw them out. But these are the shoes themselves, and I think one of the really cool things about these shoes is that they are not the same. So on one shoe, you have the evil queen, and on the other shoe, you have Snow White. So the queen is pretty cool. She's got her little haggard tooth hanging out there, and then she's holding the apple, the poison apple that she feeds to Snow White. So that's kind of cool. The shoes, the back of the shoes um, have apples on them, which is kind of cool. I will say if I'm very critiquing of the Princess Collection by Regular Choice, I would have liked to have seen more character heels in this collection. I do think that character heels are one of the things that a Regular Choice does really well. And I think it's also something that they are kind of famous for. Um, so I would have liked to have seen more character heels in the collection. I was dying for some uh, Snow White heels um, for a really, really long time before these came out. It's one of the, one of the things that I was just wishing, like, why, please, please, please do a Snow White collection. I love Snow White. Um, so I was very excited when these came out. I would have liked on my dream shoe to have a poison apple heel. I think that would have been really cool. Um, obviously, Dan Sullivan has his own vision for the shoes, and he can't cater to everyone's, to everyone's particular wants. But um, they are very cool as is. 
Uh, so I, I like the detail there in the faces. You can really see Snow White as well as the Queen. So those are very cool. One of the really nice things about a regular choice shoes and not just this particular pair is the glitter. So we all know when you have a glitter top or a dress or anything really with glitter on it, you can kind of expect to have glitter all over your house, but not with a regular choice. I don't know what kind of glue they use or how they do it, but their glitter is on there. So the side of these shoes are a little bit fuzzy, and then you've got the glitter in between the black stripes but that does not come off, as well as the glitter on her bow or her clothes, it is on there, so it is not going anywhere. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'll show you the bottom of the shoe, just because a regular choice does have, does have really cool soles on their shoes. Um, forgive me, I do wear these a lot. <laughs> I haven't had them very long, but I, I have worn them a lot. So you can see, possibly, you can see through the dirt. Uh, it does look very similar to the box. It just says Disney Princess, regular choice, um, make your dreams happen. So that's kind of cool. Some people do sole protect their shoes. I do have one pair of regular choice shoes that I put sole protection on. I personally find the sole protection annoying. I find it a little bit slick when you're walking around. Um, and... I don't mind so much if the picture on the bottom gets ruined. It's not like you see the picture on the bottom when you're wearing them. And it's just, they're shoes. They're made to be worn. It's all right. I, I don't worry too much about the picture coming off. But if you are worried about it, Regular Choice does offer sole protectors on their website. So you can always purchase those as well. Um, sizing, these are a 39. Um, I typically wear anywhere between a 39 and a 40 in regular choice shoes. Uh, these being a 39, they are a little bit on the roomy side. So I would say they are a little bit more true to size um, because I personally think a regular choice tends to run small. But I would say these particular shoes do run a little bit more true to size. So you can probably order your, your regular size um, translated into European sizes. Uh, a 39 is typically about a size 8 in U.S. sizes. All right, so those are the shoes, and I will do a quick walkthrough for you so that you can see what they actually look like on. Um, just one more thing, actually, comfort. I forgot to talk about comfort. Um, I will say these are very comfortable. Um, I have worn these to work. I work long hours on concrete on my feet, so I made it all day, so I would say as far as comfort is concerned, they are surprisingly comfortable. But let's do that walkthrough for you.